In this video, I'll talk about blurring selectively a part of an image. So let's assume that we have an input image like this, and we want to blur some parts of it, which looks, uh, which looks nice to the eyes. I'll be doing this inside Affinity Photos on the iPad. I'll just open up Affinity Photo. I'll click on Open from Cloud. I'll open this specific image. So once this is opened up, I'll just use the trackpad to zoom out and I'll be using this symbol. So this looks like a filter, right? So I'm, I'll be using this symbol to create a filter. I'll click on this and I'll just turn on add live filter so that I can see the effects live. I'll use box blur. I'll adjust the radius. I'll just increase it, let's say all the way up. Now, the problem is that the entire thing is blurred out. So we need to effectively do this blurring on a part of an image, which will require the usage of masks. First, we can click here to look at the layers. So we can already see that the box blur is appearing like an, is appearing like a mask like effect. We can also see what it looks like if we just look at this masked region. So white means that so wherever we have might, uh, white, that portion would be masked. And wherever we have black, that portion would not be masked. So one way to get this effect would be to, uh, let's say, so let's go back up. Let me drive this again up. Okay, let me drive this again back up. And I can use the paint brush tool. And if you see wherever I paint, black that's the part which will not be applied on the which so where the mask will not be applied the same thing can be seen in this box blur tool also so we see solo also see that's so all this region which has been turned black is the region where the blur mask will not take part so this is one way to do uh, of course this is not the final solution like this is giving us the opposite effect of what we needed remove the solo we wanted this region to be masked and the or to be blurred, the remaining to be unblurred. And we can go to this menu and just invert the mask. And we see that we're getting that effect, although this is not very properly done. I've not fixed all the parameters correctly, but this is still not as good as I would have liked. So I'll just come on C and just let's look here so now we have the box blur so i want to now create i want to first just invert this so that uh, invert this mask so that everything is black so everything is black means that uh, the, the filter would not be the box blur filter would not be applied and then we'll selectively put a rectangle in this region so that this region is selectively allowed to be blurred so I'll just go here and I'll just invert. And if you see now everything is visible, that's because, so we go to this and if we look at the solo, everything is black. I mean, nothing is allowed to be viewed. Everything is in some sense masked. Now let me go back to this and we want to create a rectangle. So I'll be creating a black rectangle because eventually I want it to be, I want, so technically I require a white, I want a white rectangle here, but I'll be creating a black, recta a black rectangle because I've already inverted this particular mask. So I'll create, go to here. I'll just show that I have selected black and let's say I select this region, go to layers again. I pull this rectangle down And that's it. So the effect, net effect is that, that this black rectangle is actually the only region it becomes white when we invert it. So this box blur filter was, the mask was inverted. It so this rectangle region is the only region which becomes white, which is the only region where this box blur is applied. And now I can just go and export this file to whichever format I want. 